Hey there, it's Martha. And if you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So today I have my um, continuing on with my wax collection. Today I am spotlighting K scented melt. So uh, I have actually I have a little bit more of another vendor, but they're so close. So today I chose K's because I have it all in one place. So I keep K's in this drawer actually in a drawer and it does share it with um, some bricks from Scentsy, but I have about 39 clamshells of K's. And if you're interested in seeing what I have and my thoughts on K's, my experience with K's, um, then stick around. So a year ago, it was April of 2023, I made my first purchase from K Scented Melts and I just love, I mean, her catalog. There's a couple things I love about K's. One, the number of scents that is available 24 seven basically is fantastic. You're not waiting for an RTS, you're not waiting for a pre-order, you want to buy, you know, something that she's got available and in stock then, uh, and you're gonna find pretty much everything uh, available, then you've got it. She, uh, you can make customs all the time. Again, this could be any time that you're interested in. And uh, I have not made customs. I don't feel that, um, I don't know, I think I'm not that brave or or creative uh, to make my own customs, but uh, uh, I know a lot of people do and love that about K's. So let me share what I have with you, kind of where I warm it and my experience with K's um, as I'm going along with all my scents here. And if I'm moving around a bit, it's because I'm worried my, my leg is gonna fall asleep. Um, so this first one here is apple butter frosting. And I got this in October. This is baked apple, cinnamon, and vanilla buttercream. It's apple butter frosting. I got this because I had heard it was a great dupe for Scentsy's apple butter frosting, which I've never smelled. So I don't know what it smells like, but I can tell you that this clamshell smells fantastic. It really does. And I would get more if it performs for me. Um, this is definitely a really nice scent. I only bought one because um, I think this might have been, I think October was probably my last big, big purchase, you know, my last purchase from K's. I've only purchased from K's three times. So one was a year ago. That was my first time ordering from K's. And then I placed another order. I want to say it was August. I think that's when she has her anniversary sale. And then in October with this apple butter frosting and um, and then I bought a bunch of kind of fall and Christmas scents. Um, so I've only, only having K's wax for a year. I mean, that's the oldest I have. I'm really excited to warm those spring scents that I bought last year that I just never got to. Um, because my first experience with K's is it needs a really hot type of warmer to get K's to throw. That again is an open space because most of these clam scents are things that I would warm in open space. Uh, so I warm this in tea lights or hot plate warmers uh, and then I get a really nice scent and throw in the room. Um, now that a year has gone by, I'm curious to know if, uh, if K's is just one that needs more, like the more you cure, the stronger it gets. I melted recently, is it? tea and cakes, tea and cakes. And that was a great performer in just my Scentsy warmers downstairs. So I was like, mm, maybe it just needs time to cure. But then again, teas and cakes is a strong oil. It's a strong oil from any vendor I've tried. So it could be just that scent. So we'll see. So I think what I might do is put K's in my May melting basket as one of the vendors I focus on because um, I have 39 and I'd like to make some room and, and continue to you know, continue to go uh, decrease my number of how much I have on hand because I do think I have more wax than I need. Um, and then I can make room and reorganize things. So those are kind of my quick thoughts on K's as I'm sharing my collection here. Um, this one here is called Wildberry Mousse. It's wild berries, cotton candy, and brandied cherries. Uh, Wildberry Mousse. This I got a year ago and uh, this one smells just like wild berry mousse. It really does have this mousse kind of scent. My only worry on this one is it, it, uh, it smells like kind of like cheesecake. I'm getting a cheesecake note in here. And my worry is, is this going to have a sour 
note to it on warm. I don't know because I've not warmed any of these. This next one here is Cozy Nights. This is Rich Tobacco and Sweet Almond. She has so many scents, so many scents um, that you could just make a long, long list. And one of those nights when I was making a long, long list thinking, oh, I'm just going to place an order. Like, what else would I want to buy? This was one of them. Um, I was just, I just thought the tobacco would be really pretty. And this is, this is rich tobacco and sweet almond. It's beautiful. Um, it smells fantastic. So I can't wait to warm this. Actually, I will warm this probably sooner than later. Sandy Boom Booms or Bum Bums. This is Island Fresh Gain Coconut Milk and Boom Boom. This was a sample that was given to me in one of my orders and uh, I liked it so much that I thought I'd buy a clamshell. There's another thing about Kay's, um, who in the owner is Carla, is I get a lot of samples when I place an order. So these are great. This is how I discovered this scent. I thought I really liked it and um, it's it's good. I like it. Uh, I Like I said, I bought the clamshell after, after smelling the sample. This next one here is the Red Sea. This is a house blend, Lost Cherry and Black Sea. It's called the Red Sea. I love Lost Cherry, that fragrance. So this is why I took a chance on this one and uh, thought I'd see what I thought about it. I get a lot of black amber in this and that might be what is what's in Red Sea. It's like a salty sea salt, black amber. And I do get a touch of the Lost Cherry scent. Although it's light, I'm, I'm having to get my nose in there. So we'll see, uh, the Red Sea. Then, oh, Haunted House Season. This is Fallen Leaves, Apples, Cloves, and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. This one is, this one is really good. I, so I did melt one of these. I don't know if, um, this might've been after I smelled, uh, my friend bought some earlier and then she brings up, she brings her haul over. I get to smell everything or, um, and so anyway, this is a great one. Warm this, it's a great scent. Because this is from October and I warmed it in the Halloween season, it didn't have a lot of time to cure. So I use this in a tea light and it worked really nicely, but it's a good scent. It's a really good scent. I, I'm looking forward to warming this in the fall. Uh, South Beach, this is ripe melon, mixed citrus, fresh cut grass and breezy floral. South Beach, this was one where, I think it was the fresh cut grass that intrigued me and uh, I thought it'd be a great scent for the summertime. I got this in August, I believe. It was like my wild card and uh, it's strong. This one's got a good, a good scent to it from, from the, just the clamshell, but I don't think it's for me. Uh, the mix of the fresh cut grass and I think it's the melon that I'm just like, it's just okay. It's not a bad scent at all, but it's not one that I think I would reach for. And that's South Beach. Um, let's see, pink frosted cake, sweet strawberry frosted yellow cake. That is from last year. This, this reminds me a little bit of Scentsy strawberry lemon cake. Without the lemon, it's just more like strawberry, strawberry in cake. Um, it's, it's nice. It is light. It is on the lighter side, um, so we'll see, but it's a nice, nice smelling scent. This is Lemon Cello Cream. This is from August. Lemon Bergamot Sugar Cake and Honey Butter. Lemon Cello Cream. Mm. This is a very tart lemon. It's like a sugared lemon, so it, it does remind me of a very tart, sugared, like a candy, like a lemon head. Um, that's what this reminds me of. Nice and strong, so that is lemon cello cream. Cashmere plum. This is plum, amber, sugar, vanilla, and musk, and I got this in October. Let me know what your experience is with K's. 
Have you tried it? Um, you know, have you noticed a difference with cure time? Mm. This is plum. You have to like plum. Get a nice plum. And um, I think, let me see. I get a little bit of amber. I get a little more musk than I do, but it's it's nice cashmere plum. It's a nice kind of fall scent. Amish quilt. This is cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, allspice, and sugar. Al Al Amish quilt. I had heard people talk in the Facebook group that this was like a must have. So I did order this. Uh, there was a while there where I had just a list. I just kept putting things that I wanted to try. And, uh, and then I placed a big order. This is a nice fall scent. This is good. The nutmeg, the clove, the cinnamon, it's those fall spices. Really good. Um, yeah, I, I did buy a lot of fall scents, so I do like that one. Let's see. Oh, this is, uh, oh, okay. I was like, wait, this looks weird with the different colors, but it was this way. This is Haddonfield. It's a house blend. It's sandalwood vanilla, pumpkin souffle, and fallen leaves. Definitely a fall scent. And that is what my collection is mostly of is these fall winter scents because it's my favorite. Um, but this is a different, different for what you're used to seeing or I'm used to seeing that it's kind of like this tie dye. I heard a lot about this one in the fall. Yeah, it's nice. It does have a charred kind of a smokiness to it. Mm, that's good. I love fall winter scents. So that, those are nice. And uh, all right, this is Cabin in the Woods. This is White Pumpkin, Amber, and Fireside. Cabin in the Woods. I really have no business buying any fall winter scents <laughs> at all um, because I have so many. Yeah, this is this is definitely smoky. It's a little sweet smoky wood smoke. It's a wood smoke. Mm, it's a great winter scent. I don't really get pumpkin, but white pumpkin is a softer pumpkin. It's not like a heavy pumpkin, pumpkin scent. It's, it's pretty, it's great winter, like on a cold night type of scent. If you like smoky, that's a good one. And I want, I believe, I believe she makes them like they're made to order. Um, when you order it, cause her, her website's open 24 seven. Um, they're the, the pour dates are always fresh. Um, this is orange cake batter, vanilla cake batter, and sweet oranges. Orange cake batter. I got this from her when she had that sale. So that was probably my biggest order. My friend and I just placed one big order together. Oh, that is so yummy. It's a great orange bakery. It's like orange bakery with a vanilla. This is so good. And it smells, this one smells pretty strong. So that's from August. Uh, then I have old world Christmas, sweet fruit and floral cinnamon and clove old world world Christmas. I didn't, I didn't put a date on this one. So I'm thinking this was probably October. Um, this smells like fruitcake with a little bit of a little tiny bit of floral but not too much but it's got this fruit cake kind of scent to me and uh the cinnamon and the clove but it this one smells pretty strong so that is old world christmas this is sweet slumber it's lavender fresh cotton vanilla citrus floral and moss sweet slumber i I swear, I should never have touched the settings on this stupid camera. I love a cotton smell. I love laundry scents. So this isn't heavily laundry. It's more of cotton. It's more, and when I, for me, the difference between when I say laundry and like a cotton scent, uh, laundry is like a detergent scent, whereas a cotton is more like fresh sheets, 
it's the sheets after they've been washed. Uh, so it's a little softer, more like a dryer sheet kind of scent than a detergent, liquid detergent scent. And this has a little bit of lavender mm, and some cotton. This is very nice. Uh, this is from October. Cupcakes at Tiffany's. So this is vanilla cake, buttercream, toffee, and a hint of chocolate. A lot of people use uh, Cupcakes at Tiffany's as a mixer. And that's the thing with Kay's too. If you love mixes, she's got these kind of single note, single oil scents that you can mix around. Um, I bought a lot just to, to understand like what something smells like. Like what is just, cause cupcake at Tiffany's is always mixed. It seems like in things it's like, well, what does cupcakes at Tiffany's smell like on its own? Now this particular one was a, like a misshipment. I did talk, Carla's the owner and I did email her going, I didn't order this. So I don't know if someone else is missing uh, a cupcakes at Tiffany's or not. She's like, oops, you know, go ahead and keep it. Um, but <laughs> of all the scents, I get a scent I do not care for, but now I know exactly why I don't why there's why in some blends or something that's off to me and it is the cupcakes of Tiffany. So I I've known that I don't like it. So I should gift this bar or something. I don't know because uh, it smells like funky feet. That's just what cupcakes at Tiffany smells like. I get this funky foot odor um, that I don't care for. And I think it's the combination of the chocolate and the toffee or the buttercream. I don't know. It's definitely the mix of all three. So whenever, um, even is it scoopable wax melts who, who's done those three cakes, those three cake blends, I pick up this cupcake at Tiffany scent. Uh, and so those are not for me. I know they're wildly popular. A lot of people love the three cakes, uh, blends, but I get too much cupcakes at Tiffany. So that's a no for me. Uh, peppermint pine cones. This is peppermint candy, pine cones, and Twinkies. I might have warmed this as a sample. Kay's is really good about giving samples. And if I recall, this was a good one. Mm -hmm. This is a really nice, her peppermint is good. It's to me, not overly like astringent. It's a good peppermint and this is nice. The pine cones, pine cones is different. It's not like roasted pine cones. It's just adding a little bit of a woodiness, but not too much. Um, get mostly peppermint in that. Uh, then I have at Autumn Crunch. So here's another one that I did buy two of because I had heard so much about it. This is apple caramel, zucchini bread, pumpkin, peanut, brittle, because I did melt one of these already. Autumn Crunch, I got this in October. So when I melted this one, it was only, I've, I'd only had it probably a month. So again, these are all pretty much fresh pours from what I understand. So I had to use a tea light warmer, but it was beautiful. Yeah, this smells so good. I, I will probably buy more of this scent. You get the crunch in here. I don't know what makes it smell like crunch, but it's a great scent. It's, it's the zucchini bread is nice. It's, you, it's pumpkin. It's the brittle. It smells so good. And I do remember liking it, even though I had to use a tea light warmer, but uh, come October, if this performs fantastic after a year, then I will, I will, this will be one that I'll buy more of and then just let it cure. Marshmallow Fireside, toasted marshmallows, vanilla, and cedar wood. This is the Bath and Body Works type, Marshmallow Fireside. Mm-hmm. It smells like it. Fluffy, creamy, a hint of sweet smokiness. I love Marshmallow Fireside in my blends. It's probably a great mixer. Um, Volcano, this is sugared orange, lemon, lime, and mountain greens. Volcano is a scent that is very popular in like candles and other vendors use this volcano scent. Scentsy's version of it is um, Blue Grotto. So if you're familiar with that, mm. this is so fresh and clean without smelling like laundry. It's just for me, 
uplifting and bright. And the citrus in here is really nice. It's not tart. It's a little tart, but it's not overly tart. I think those, those other notes of um, the greens and a little bit of that lemon lime is so pretty with the uh, orange. Uh, so I love this scent. I've not warmed this particular one, but it's a great scent. Then I have winter candy apple. Did I talk about this one already? I hate when I say something and then I contradict myself later. Apparently I do have extras of a few. I might've bought, I might've purchased a few where I'm like, I really like that scent. Uh, winter candy apple, um, candy red apple, orange maple leaf and cinnamon. Why do I feel like I've talked about this one? But love the scent from Bath and Body Works. It smells just like it. And uh, I think some of these uh, are just plain, like they're just plain. And some of them have a little extra touch in this particular one has some shimmer. It's like some micro glitter in there. It's so pretty. Key lime pie. I've purchased a lot of key lime pie for these upcoming pre-orders that I'm getting. Uh, I just love it for summer. So this is tart key lime, honey butter, vanilla, and graham cracker. I have not warmed this one and uh, beautiful color though. I love the colors. Mm, it smells like key lime pie. This one a little light. I'm popping them out of the clamshell because I noticed there's more fragrance on the bottom. Mm. So that smells good. That's going to be a great, um, I'm finding I did get a lot of apple butter frosting. So I guess there's three of them. So there, I told you <laughs> I was not being truthful when I thought I only had one of each, uh, best ever carrot cake. This is cinnamon, vanilla, carrot, orange, and zucchini bread. Best ever carrot cake. I don't know why I bought this other than it sounded like, let's try what carrot cake, carrot cake smells like in wax. Mm, I just get more, I get the cinnamon and some of the zucchini bread. I get a little hint of orange. This is on the lighter side, but this I think will be kind of, it, it, it's giving me a little fall feels and it's probably because of the cinnamon. I should make sure I close these clamshells really good. Here's eggnog. This is vanilla, amaretto, rum, butter, and milk sugar. If you're familiar with my channel, I went overboard with eggnog, everything eggnog in fall and winter, and uh, I still love it. This is light. It's not as, it's a different eggnog. I don't really get the amaretto. I'm getting a lot more milk, I think, in this. So this is a little bit lighter and different from some other eggnogs I've smelled. Then we have peppermint marshmallow, sweet peppermint and marshmallow cream. Peppermint marshmallow. Oh, dropping it. Her, marsh her um, peppermint is good. It's like a sweet peppermint. Mmm, that's really nice. This is a sweet, creamy peppermint. Now I got wax all over my jeans. Okay, and then I have two more. This is sweet and creamy, thick and rich, sweet condensed milk. Sweet and creamy. So again, a lot of these are single notes that are great for mixing. I just wanted to buy them just to see what I think of this. This one I do remember getting. Yeah, it's it's really nice. It's it gives me this frothy milk kind of note to it, which then reminds me of coffee. So there's something in here that just brings out this coffee note to me, even though it doesn't say there's coffee in it, but my mind is registering it as like a latte, like a really milky latte. Um, but not sour at all. It's sweet and creamy. It's yummy. And then my one and only case cut, I bought this because I wanted a lot of it more than a clamshell size. I tried seven up pound cake. Uh, a friend of mine had purchased it from another vendor, a different vendor. And it was my first time trying seven up pound cake. And I'm like, that is so good. And when I saw that case had it, I'm like, I 
you know, I hope I love it. Uh, I'm going to get a big case cut from it. And this was fantastic. So I did warm this in open space in, in all the warmers. Um, but it's, I love the scent. I'm in love with 7-Up Pound Cake. So this is a fantastic scent. Um, this, this is great. So I will have to pull this out for May or in the summertime and warm that. As you can see, a lot of these, most of these are probably more fall scents. There are some bakery scents, a couple of spring summer scents in, the, in there like the key lime pie and other ones like that, but most are fall and winter. So I'm excited to see, or curious to see how these will warm, especially the ones that I've had for a year um, and uh, if they've changed any at all. So let me know if you have tried K's, what your experience has been with K's. And um, yeah, I I just haven't placed an order in a while. And because I have, I, I'm good, I'm good. Like I really need to stop. <laughs> I need to stop. But what I do love about it, like I said earlier, is whenever I'm in the mood, like if I was wanting any of these, they're available to me, um, you know, when and if I place an order. So I love that a lot. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed my uh, case collection. And next I'm going to do L3 and hopefully not not find extras laying around later after I film that video like I did uh, with Zape. There was four in there because they, they camouflage <laughs> perfectly with K's. Uh, so thanks so much for hanging out with me and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.